12 minutes. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> What's up, Ibex Runners? Welcome back to Ibex Running. My name is Veronica. I'll be your coach today. We are continuing with our Couch to 5K series. Welcome to week seven. I want you to think about that right now. We have made it to week seven. You guys know the drill. Let's get started with that warm up. We're going to start with just a nice, brisk walk with that 2.5 to 4.0. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get started. So last week, we upped that time we upped our intervals we upped that duration right we did an eight minute run today no different we're going to continue to increase that you still got your three main runs with that recovery walk in between so i want you to keep that in mind today right you are getting that recovery walk in between so during those runs i really want you focused on keeping your pace and keeping that rhythm today's three runs we're doing a five minute a 12 minute yeah buddy and that five minute again and then we finish off the run for today all right so let's get ourselves mentally ready mentally set for it. deep breath in as always slow exhale and I want you to set your intention right before we even get started with that first run we want to set our intention for what we want to accomplish today awesome job here we go we got a two minute walk here and then we're getting right into that first five minute run you guys really, you know the drill, right? We're gonna be in those runs anywhere from that 4.5 to 6.5. You can always look over here on my right to see the speeds and to see the time and the duration that we are running. All right, but what I really want you to just focus on is your run. You know, that's why you have me here. I'm here to worry about your time. I'm here to worry about your pace, help you with your form, help you along the way through all three of these runs today. If you need a sip of water, please feel free to grab that now because we got about 30 seconds left. Before we get right into it week seven runners Woo good another deep breath in so exhale i promise you these intervals these times sound long but they're gonna fly by right so let's make sure we take an opportunity and work hard through them good we got 10 seconds anywhere between that 4.5 and 6.5 here we go five four three two, one, let's go, hit it, pick it up here. Good, and as always in that first run, we wanna recheck our form, right? So think about it, that chin, we wanna have it lifted, we don't need to stare at the ground. All right, ground's not going anywhere, it's still moving. All right, keep that chin up, chest up, bring those shoulders back a little bit, just to open it up to help you breathe a little bit easier, right? And then make sure those shoulders are dropped down, we don't wanna shrug it on up, right? Allow those shoulders to move with our arms, because remember, Whatever my upper body does, my lower body does. So we want to be smooth and relaxed in that upper body so your lower body follows, right? Think about my legs now. We want to make sure we're picking up those feet, right? Heels are kicking back and underneath my hips, cycling over the other ankle. And how are you hitting into the treadmill? Are you slapping or are you pushing and applying force? Good. Check that form out. And the most important part is that core, right? Let's make sure our core is nice and tight. That helps stabilize us. It helps us control the movement. Helps us feel good this whole time through those runs. And look at that. You're already a minute down. Good. And then lastly, probably most important, check that breathing. Slow, deep breaths in, slow out. Control the breathing, control the nerves. Remember those nerves. They don't need to be nervous, scared. We can be nervous, excited for this run today. So control that nice, easy breathing. Good. And every time we inhale, right, we want to continue inhaling those positive vibes, those positive thoughts, and exhaling out those negative ones. A lot of times, we're carrying on this weight of our day, or weight of the week, whatever it is, or weight of what's going to happen tomorrow. I want you to release that right now. Release all of those thoughts. Push them out of your head because that's just going to weigh you down during this run. And I want you to pick your body up. I want you to run proud. I want you to feel good during this run. So release all of that. Good. And now settle into your run. You got your form. You checked it all out. Settle into that nice pace here. Excellent job. Deep breaths in. Slow exhales. Here we go, runners, I love it. 
in our run today, right, we're going to be extending those runs, extending those times. So what I want you to do is continue to find the joy in running. Continue to find your love of running, right? Because that's what this is helping us do. This isn't a chore, right? Runner's high is a real thing. So find that joy. There we go, runners. Come on, we got just over two more minutes here for that first run and then it's done. So how do you find that joy in it? Smile a little bit. We're having fun here, we are, right? You've continued doing this for seven weeks. That's such a huge accomplishment. And at this point, it's starting to feel a little bit more automatic, right? You're able to settle into that run quicker. You don't have to think about your form all the time. That means that you are improving, all right? So be proud of that. And let's keep it moving here, come on. Now remember, these workouts, you're doing them multiple times, right? So each time that you do them, let's focus on trying to push ourselves just a little bit more. So if this is the first time you're doing it, settle into that pace that feels comfortable for you. Not too easy, but not straining yourself. Every time you do it though, I want you to try to push that speed and push that pace a little bit more. That's how we get better. Good. Don't always have to go crazy, crazy hard right off the bat, right? We want to be smart during the run, smart with the time that we have with each interval. We want to challenge ourselves, but we also want to complete it. That's our goal, right? Under a minute. Here we go. Come on. Feeling good, right? Finding that joy. Here we go, runners. Love it. Don't worry about the time, right? I just want you to get out of your head. Find your rhythm. Find your cadence here. We got 30 more seconds. And then we take it right back down into that recovery walk, that brisk walk. Beautiful. Deep breaths in. So exhale. Come on, we got 15 more seconds. Remember, don't touch that speed until we get all the way down. We want to hit five minutes, not 4.59. Here we go. Down to 2.5, 4.5, 3, 2, 1. Take it off. There we go. Give me that walk. And just like that, first run is done. Now, like I said, keep that run or keep that walk when I'm running. If you want to keep running, feeling good. That's awesome. We want to keep that heart rate up. That's what I want to say, right? So we want to keep that walk pretty brisk. Move those arms. Pump those arms. Don't hold on to those handlebars, right? Because if you're running outside, there's no handlebars for you. You gotta use your body, use the core. Here we go, we're here for two minutes. And then we're gonna get into that 12 minute run. Now I don't want you to think in your head, Veronica, I'm running for 12 minutes, what? I want you to think, heck yeah, I'm running for 12 minutes. And this is gonna be my 12 minutes. This is gonna be my interval, it's gonna be my time. All right? And how we prepare for that during this walk here. I want you to take advantage of this recovery. Think it through. Think about what you're planning. Get yourself excited. And I was excited for this 12 minute run here. We got one more minute here with this walk. Good. Walking recovery is always good. We don't want to stop, right? I know sometimes you're like, well, if I catch my breath, do I need to stop moving? It's better for your body to keep it moving. Always, all right? We want to always bring that body back down a little bit, but slowly. We don't want it to just drop quickly, all right? If you need some water, feel free to grab a sip of water. If you're sweating already, that's amazing. That means you're working hard. Just wipe some of that sweat off, get ready. We got 30 more seconds here. And then that 12 minute run. Oh yeah, we're gonna do some work in that. I love it. So for that 12 minute one, run, whatever you did during the five minute one for speed, I want you hitting at least that. If you wanna go a little bit faster because you feel good, that's great. But I don't want you going slower just because we're increasing that time, right? We wanna increase our stamina here. All right, same thing, 4.5, 6.5. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Let's go, bring it up, come on. Good. And as always, when you get started with that next run, check your form, head to toe. You guys know what to do. Think about the chin, the chest, shoulders, your core, your arms, your legs. Let's bring it all together here. Settle in, find that rhythm, your stride, right? Everyone's stride is a little bit different. Everybody runs a little bit different, so find yours. Where's that comfort? 
and then you're gonna stay here with me good <clears throat> now I want you to think back while we're running here sometimes it's nice when you run just to run through some things in your head it kind of gives you that motivation that boost of confidence and it lets you forget about what you're doing and just get in the moment of it right so I want you to think back to week one when you first started here with us and you realize thinking to week seven now right you have been like I can't wait to get to week seven I'm gonna feel great well now you're here right and I'm sure you've noticed throughout that journey throughout all those runs it's not always easy to show up right it's not always easy to come and work out at the end of the day to go do that run after you had a long work day or to wake up early after having a late night and still getting that run in but you did right because here we are at week seven you did it right so even though it's not always easy you see that hard work pays off coming in and doing the best that you can do that day that run it pays off it makes a difference all right so don't be so hard on yourself don't put yourself down before you even do it step on that treadmill every day and get your body moving because that's what your body's craving that's what it needs that's what it wants good that's it runners come on you're doing phenomenal you are already two minutes in come on look at that let's go I'm feeling good today you feeling good you're all like yes Ronka we know you're feeling good I want you at that level with me smile a little bit take those deep breaths you're alive today you're running today come on that's a great feeling and as you're running here let's think too what got you started what made you decide that you wanted to run a 5k or to train to run a good 5k what's good for you right because I think you've learned if we stay at the same if we keep doing what we're doing we're always gonna be the same but if you want to make that change you have to make a change think about that for a second sounds kind of silly right if you stay the same you stay the same if you make a change then you're gonna change all right just put that on billboard or something so in life that's why it's always good even though it scares us sometimes makes us a little nervous sometimes change is good change gets us to grow change gets us to change and that's what we're doing here today we're running 12 minutes straight runners come on and your form has improved so much your stamina how long you can run for has improved so much you're here taking on a 12 minute run and you're doing this multiple times this week right that's it you guys are looking amazing you're doing amazing keep those comments going on the videos I want to see and hear you guys how you're feeling how it's going I'm still here for you right not just in these videos always we're doing this together good here we go come on find your rhythm just get out of your head a little bit that's what you kind of have to do for these longer runs I was always a sprinter I'll tell you a little bit about myself in college I was a 400 runner and a 200 runner and I did every relay under the sun right so long distance running was definitely a challenge for me post my collegiate career I needed to find something to give me that adrenaline rush again that runners high that I love from sprinting but I wanted to retire sprinting and leave it in that its own chapter so I picked up some distance running now I don't do half marathons I don't do marathons no but 5k's are great they're an awesome way to challenge yourself and push yourself and running itself gives you that sort of benchmark of where you can keep improving right because you have that time and then each time you try to improve those miles within that 5k or improve your time overall or improve how you're feeling throughout a 5k you know you ever hear the saying 5k a day keeps the doctor away it's okay you can laugh at that one all right here we go runners so I want you to know longer distance running for me was a challenge as well but what did I do I kept working at it I kept making that change I didn't want to just stay stagnant in what I was doing I knew I had to do something different so challenging yourself pushing yourself to do something that's a little bit scary it makes you nervous it helped me grow into another element it helped me grow into getting another 
skill, if you want to call it. Being able to run a little bit longer, building up my stamina. And it took me a while, because I was used to running for like a minute. I was doing like 30 second intervals for workouts. I would just run 400 one lap around the track. And I was like, how am I going to run for long periods of time? I mean, 5K. Long period of time, right? So I had to find something to distract myself. So I tried music at first, but then I got nervous. I didn't know what was going on around me. Right? So then I started doing some travel workouts, which was good, but I missed being outside. So I started, when I would do my runs, I would go through and run through things in my head. I would check all my form. I would think about what I had coming up the next day, what I need to get myself prepared for. I would think about maybe some things I wanted to work on in my life or what I had coming up, anything. You just run through those lists in your head. And before you know it, my run was over. And something else I also tried to start doing was, I didn't even bring a watch. I didn't want to know how far I was going. I didn't want to know how long I was running. I didn't want to know what pace I was running. I just wanted to run and just go off pace of how I feel. So that's what I want you to do right now. I got the time for you. Your treadmill's got your pace. I want you to just get out of your head and just run with me. All right? Just let your body feel good. Because it wants this. Trust me. I know. <laughs> Come on. I was there with you at one point, starting to try to run 5Ks, starting to train for 5Ks. My sister, she was the distance runner. I was the sprinter. So I worked on building up so then I could race with her and I could run with her. That was my motivation. Right? Keep trying to find ways to change yourself and improve yourself. I know a lot of times we think that we have limitations, right? We think that we have this block where we can only get so far, right? But did you know limitations we put on ourselves? We tell ourselves, oh, I can't run a 5K. But you can. You just told yourself you can't. You actually can. Your body's ready for it. You might need to train for it, right? You got to challenge yourself for it, but you can. Don't put that limitation, I can't run that fast. I gotta keep at my one pace. No, you just put that limitation on, right? So I want you to release those, let go of them. All right, break them down, cut the cord, whatever it takes, talk to a balloon, let it go. No more limitations on ourselves. Let's just run, all right? Let's make that body feel good. Let's find that runner's high. Let's remember the why. Why are you training for this 5K? Why did you decide you wanted to do this? Good, and with that note, we got a couple minutes left in this run now. If you feel good, feel free to add on a little bit more to this run. Even just point one. Here, I'll do it too. All right? Whatever feels good. All right? That's what this is about. Doing something to make our body feel good. Here we go, runners. Yes. Just over three minutes. Come on. And then you completed your first 12 minute run. Yeah. Don't mind the crack in the voice. That's me getting excited. <laughs> We're doing this, runners, together. Let's go, Ibex. Come on. Right here. You got three minutes left. Come on. We can do three minutes. If you're starting to feel that fatigue a little bit, just continue to recheck that form, right? A lot of times when we get tired, we start to run low, right? We want to pick that body up. It almost sounds silly because how do I pick my body up when I'm in the air, right? I'm not holding on to anything. But you can. You gotta lift the shoulders up, lift that chest up, and then hit lightly on the treadmill, but still apply force into the treadmill. So I'm pushing hard into the treadmill, which is kicking my heel up behind me, right? You see that cycle of my heel, but I'm not slapping the treadmill hard, right? So I'm not wasting energy by running inefficiently. That's how you learn to run longer and longer and feel good the whole time. Here we go, runners. Come on. Two minutes. Let's go. You know that recovery walk is coming, right? So I don't want you to go early to that recovery walk. We're running 12 minutes. Not 10. Not 11. Not 11.30. We're running 12. All right? So find your rhythm. Get right back into it. Shake out of your head. Focus on how your body's feeling. The good parts of how it's feeling. I know you might be breathing heavier. Chest might be burning a little bit. Shoulders might be tired. Legs maybe feel super heavy. 
I say sometimes you have those runs where you feel like your legs are like 10 feet behind you. <laughs> You're like dragging them. <laughs> I know, we all have those days. But that's why I say, not every day is going to feel perfect, right? But you showed up. You're putting the work in. You're trying. Try. All right? Here we go, Ibex. This 12-minute run. It feels so good today. I can't wait. I want to see on those comments. Veronica, I felt the runners high today. I want to see that. Because you got one more minute of this 12-minute run. You feel good? Are you with me? Come on, hit that plus. Why not? Let's go. You know that walk is coming. That recovery is coming. So don't take the recovery early. You don't need it, I promise. Because you've been running. You've been training for seven weeks. You don't need that recovery yet. Your body is prepared. It is ready for this. It wants this. Even though I know parts of your body is screaming at you like, no, fuck, I don't want it. You do. Trust me. 30 seconds. Come on. Let's go. Nice deep breaths in. Stay relaxed. The biggest thing is when we start to get tired, we tense up. Keep it relaxed. All right? We don't want to get long and slow and tight. We'll be short and quick with our stride. 10 seconds here. And then you got that walk. Yeah, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. 2.5 to 4.5. Take it on down. Awesome job, runners. Take that sip of water. You earned it. You deserved it. Wipe that sweat off your face. You got it here. Come on. Excellent job. Don't touch those handlebars. Don't touch it. And I want you right now, after you take that sip of water, smile. Smile. Put your hands on your hips if you need to. It opens up the chest a little bit. Helps you breathe a little deeper. But I want you to smile because you just did a 12-minute run. Before you started with us, have you ever done that before? Did that scare you before? Now it doesn't, right? Because you did it once. It means you can do it again and again and again, right? Because we're going to lead all the way to that 5K. Awesome job, runners. We're here for two minutes, and then you're going to finish with that five-minute run again. Now that five-minute run, it's going to feel like cake. You're going to be like, what? We're already at three minutes, two minutes, one minute? What? 30 seconds? Trying to go, what? I know. It's going to go really quick. So remember what I said in the beginning of this workout. I told you it was going to fly by. So we want to take advantage of every opportunity we have. So this five-minute one, I don't want it to be this slow, dragging run. I want you chipper. I want you up. I want you tall. I want you to maybe give me whatever speed you were at before or even a little bit quicker because we know our last run is going to lead into our next workout, right? That's what's bringing us into the next time that we do this. So if we can push ourselves a little bit more in this last interval here, this last run, is going to allow us to go harder the next time we do it because you're training your body to adapt, right? We're working on that. So for this last run here, maybe even if it's just 0.1 higher, 0.2 higher, or maybe you're ready to go all the way, Let's do it. Five minutes. It's going to feel like cake, I promise. Last sip of water if you need it. We got 10 seconds here before we go into our last one. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. 4.5 to 6.5. Let's go. Three, two, one. Come on, hit it. Here we go. Five minutes. This is the last interval. Now, I don't want you to think of this as just the finish. I want you to think this is a run. All right, this is actually part of the training. We're not at cool down yet. We're not at recovery. Mm -mm. This is a run. This is where we're doing work. So let's do work. I want you to perform at your absolute best here for these five minutes. I know. Now you know what I mean by your legs feeling like they're 10 feet behind you, right? <laughs> After that 12 minute. I know. But just give me your best that you can do right now. All right? That's all we can ever do. That's all we can ever ask for is your best. Are you feeling sweaty? Yeah? Good. You feeling warm? Good. That means your body is ready. It's actually funny is as you progress through a run, your body feels better and better, and it's ready to fight. You might feel some of that fatigue, but it's ready to fight through. So let's finish this last run here together. And I want it to be your best. There we go. Feeling good? Are you at that speed you were at before or higher? If you're not, let's go. Hit it up. Come on. Every minute, maybe, hit it up one. Whatever works for you, right? Be settled into your run. Have you notice it's getting easier, right? You're able to get into it quicker. You're able to check your whole body, head to toe, a little bit faster. Thinking about those shoulders, right? Chest, arms, legs, hips. Sometimes we forget about the hips, 
right? And that booty, our glutes, right? They do some work too, I promise. Running full body, core. Make sure that belly's nice and tight here. There we go, runners. Ibex, week seven. Come on, week seven. That's amazing. This run, let's get that game face. All right, let's sink into it. Let's get ready for it. You see that finish line, right? You're getting closer and closer. Instead of shying away from it, I want your full steam ahead. You got three minutes. I told you I was gonna give you that countdown. You feel good? Add one. Here we go. Point one, not one. I mean, if you feel good, go for it. Here we go. Nice job, runners. I'm seriously so proud of you. I'm so impressed. Committing to something for this long, not everybody can do it. But you, Ibex, you did. I want you to be proud of that. Good. Nice, deep breath in, slow exhale. Think about that form. What are your legs and your feet doing, right? Make sure you're pushing hard into the ground, swinging that heel up, swinging with the hip flexor. Pick those knees up a little bit more. That'll help you. Always focusing on form. I know, like I said, when we're tired, that falls apart. But it actually is gonna make the run feel easier. You're gonna be able to finish stronger because you're running efficiently. We're not wasting energy with our arms going side to side. We're going straight, right? We're not wasting energy swapping our feet into the ground. We're just picking them up, pushing through the force and the strength that you've built in your legs from these runs and allowing our body to propel forward with the treadmill. Here we go. Come on, runners. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. We got a minute 30 to go. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Week seven. I just can't believe we're already at week seven. It feels so good. That's amazing. That's one week closer to that 5K. Right? That's why this run. Make an opportunity to feel good. At point one. Point one. Point two. Whatever you want. Come on. There we go. All right, runners. We have one minute, 60 seconds. I want you to envision that finish line right now. I want you to go after it, step into it, run into this all the way through. Don't finish early, finish strong all the way. Remember, we do have that recovery, right? We're finishing the workout after this. Hit that gas pedal, let's go. Here we are, come on. Yeah, runners. Let's go, Ibex. You got 30 seconds, don't look at the timer. Look at me, look ahead. Envision that finish line and go. We are so close to the end. And you're gonna feel that runners high with me. Come on, 20, countdown's going. Breathe and fight with me, swing those arms. 15, come on. There we go, your last 10. Go, all the way with me. Here we are. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down to that recovery. 2.0 to 4.5. Ibex, come on, that was incredible. We're here for a minute, and we'll take it down just a little bit more to finish that recovery. Unbelievable work. Think back, you did a five minute run. Right? Then you really bumped it up, over doubled it to a 12 minute run. And then you finished strong with another five minute run. Now I want you to take note of what your speed was, where you were on your tread. All right? And I want you to remember that for the next time you do this, for the next time you work out again. Because we always want to keep trying to push ourselves to change, right? You can't change if you don't change, right? And we're going to stay the same if we don't make those changes. So. Let's continue to challenge ourselves. Let's continue to change ourselves. Here we go, you go. One more minute here. If you wanna take it down a little bit slower, feel free. If you wanna stay here, keep pumping those arms, that's good. All right, that recovery. We worked hard in that workout. That recovery though is just as important as the workout. I think sometimes people don't realize, right? We need to take recovery. So make sure if you wanna continue walking after this workout is done, that's fine. If you still feel like you need to jog it down a little bit, that's fine, you got a foam roller, you wanna stretch, whatever it is, you need to go get a massage. Feel free to do that, because recovery is super important. Hydrate, make sure you're eating well, you're refueling for the next time we work out together. 
All right, all those things are super important in training as well. It's not just how hard you work in the actual workout, it's also what you do post-workout and pre-workout that make a difference in our training. So make sure you're bringing all those elements together so that you can be the best possible you during these workouts. Awesome, God, we got 15 more seconds here with me. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow exhale here. Grab that water, wipe that sweat off your face. Clap it up for yourselves. That was a beautiful, beautiful job. We got three, two, one. Take that speed off. Awesome job, Ibex Runners. Week seven. Let that sink in for you. Awesome job. I'll see you next time on Ibex Running. Well, minutes. Dude.